Good morning, my name is Slade Sackman. I'm here at Marine Max in Fort Myers, Florida. Today is July 31st, it's a beautiful hot morning, and I want to show you a brand new 2021 Boston Whaler 280 Vantage. Now the 280 Vantage is a complete keel up redesign from the predecessor 270, which was madly successful in our system. So this boat was not only just enhanced by a foot, it's wider six inches, it's longer by a little more than a foot, and it weighs over 1,500 pounds more. So the displacement of this boat is substantial. It rides much, much larger than a 28-foot boat would normally ride. Now, some of the characteristics that were very famous in the 27, we brought into the 28, being a dual console, family-oriented boat, but yet we can still fish on this boat. In fact, they did make it a little more user-friendly for fishing for the guy that has to have the dual console for the family but wants to go fishing. So you'll notice there's still plenty of rod holders around here. Some of the enhancements, which there were over a dozen of, is an exposed live well in the back transom, which is a wonderful accessible live well system versus the former live well system that was on its predecessor. They still integrated the very large rear seat back here with massive stainless steel seat hinges. They made the handle on the seat up top, so it's a little easier to pull out now than it was before. This boat is equipped with twin 300 Mercury Verado white joystick model motors. The boat base motor is a 250, but the 300s are definitely, uh, in my opinion, the way to go. Uh, another major enhancement on this boat is the dive door on the side of the boat. This was not on the 270. It was on the larger model, the 320, which it still is. But this is absolutely a huge enhancement and improvement. Another massive enhancement, it's a little hard to see with the weather curtain system we have here, but they integrated the hard top system to be part of the boat. So it's not only just added on, bolted on, it's part of the windshield system of the boat. So that unibond or unibody construction carries through from the hull to the top. And you have a very robust and very rigid hard top on this, and it's massive. They brought some of the hand holes in that you see on 32s. Um, you can see it's just a very robust and rigid system. The windshield is up higher, so you have a lot more wind protection than you did before. They carried over the very successful companion seat on this side that has lots of mobility, form and function, so it can lay down, the back can come up, you can have a complete lounge system here if you want. On this side, they went away with the larger galley system that was here that was not really being utilized as much, but they did bring in an extra seat an extra seat that happens to have a very usable cooler box. So that's a very nice feature. And here, there's a lot of options you can do here. You can have a refrigerator down here, you can have a grill up here, or you can have a standard with a sink and storage underneath. As you move forward, this particular boat, they put the upgraded black glass dash in, which is very nice, very clean uh, aircraft style dashboard. So it's integrated flush mounted marine marine system. You have your mercury vessel view, of course your stereo, VHFs, other things, and they put a little cubby here for things like phones and wallets, which is, was not on the other boat. So this was a very nice feature right here added on. The head compartment pretty much didn't change much other than the fact, you know, they still have the vacuum flush head, the Corian countertop and wood cabinetry. So they didn't take away from this at all. And a matter of fact, they just kept what was working really well with them. But another great feature here is a little glove box, lockable glove box here, was not on the predecessor's boat. The biggest thing you'll notice in this particular boat, when you're in it, it's deeper, it's heavier, it's bigger. It's not that it is the 270 was a bad model, it's just this one is a definitely a much more robust vessel. You can feel it mostly when you're up here in the bow area, the seating area. They've integrated the forward seating in the middle, which was not here before. But when you sit down on the boat and you're up here running, you feel the sides much, much, much higher than they were before. So it's a much more secure feeling in this particular vessel. Um, Another major enhancement they put on this particular vessel, in the previous models, when you had the anchor windlass in the boat, you couldn't do an optional dive ladder on the front of the boat, a beach boarding ladder. They put this asymmetrical hatch in here that has a ram on it. So you have your windlass going out the front, but yet you have the safety of the beach boarding ladder off to the side. That's a great enhancement. Every one of these boats will probably have that on there without question. Um, that's pretty much what the bigger enhancements are on the new boat. Uh, we look forward to having many of these on our water out here. Lots of people wanting to trade in their 270s, so if you have one, give me a call. My name is Slade Sackman here in Fort Myers, Florida. My phone number is 239-229-8862. I'll be happy to show you this or any of our other wonderful boats. Thank you very much.